We have some important cryptocurrency news to talk about in the market today. So I want to be talking to you guys about Celsius going bankrupt. What does it mean for your crypto portfolio? We're going to be talking about CZ of Binance, his plan to melt the crypto winter away. And we're also going to be doing an update on Luna Classic. And we're also going to do an update on the crypto prices. Where can the crypto prices go in the future? What does it mean for your crypto portfolio? So if that sounds good, smash the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell. And uh, as always, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor but i hope you guys are enjoying the journey so far and the first big news we have of today is embattled crypto lender celsius files for bankruptcy protection in the usa right now so unfortunately celsius has filed for bankruptcy protection in the usa they've named a number of different reasons right here but what does this actually mean for celsius depositors what does it mean it actually means they're going to go through a bit of a restructure at the moment so they're actually going to do a financial restructuring of celsius they have filed for bankruptcy protection they're going to continue to operate they still have 167 million dollars cash on hand they're going to have new leaders leadership with this crypto platform and uh, they've got some new advisors and uh, basically they will be looking to you know restructure the company and uh, they're trying to maximize you know credit to value in Celsius through the restructuring event so it's actually not fully over for Celsius so even though they have filed for bankruptcy you know it's actually going to continue to operate there have been other platforms that have went bankrupt and actually redeemed credits in the past so if you want to look into Mt. Gox bit for next you can but that was an interesting update right there and it's a good reminder though in the crypto space so definitely not great for celsius depositors currently um, but there is reward and risk in the crypto market and you always have to be cognizant of that risk as well we also have cz of binance and he has let off an absolute twitter storm about inflation in the usa and you guys know inflation is the talk of the town and he said right here read multiple times that 80 percent of usd in circulation were printed in the last two years if that is correct, a 9.1% inflation is magically low. How did they manage to do that? And uh, if we do take a look at the M1 money supply, you guys can see this thing basically moon. So if this was a crypto, it'd be a good crypto to buy. But unfortunately, it's the money supply, the M1 money supply uh, in the United States. And this thing just keeps going up. So, you know, they have a massive increase in the supply of money in the USA. And a lot of the time, this is actually just, you know, fueling inflation. And uh, he's also said right here, if our elementary school maths was taught correctly, we should be seeing a 500% inflation. No, 80% a new 5X of original supply. So one key takeaway I do want to say is, you know, generally where money supply does go up, you're going to get lots of inflation. Uh, you can see it in the graph clearly. And uh, what is CZ's plan to melt away the crypto winter? What can he control? He can actually control the Binance coin. So if you guys don't know BNB coin, it's actually one of the highest ranked cryptos out there. Number fifth on the market and uh, you know it's holding up pretty well in this uh, crypto winter but it is going to be a long-term journey for the Binance coin and uh, how are they going to melt away the crypto winter they're going to do it through burning up the cryptocurrency so the one guy who loves burns of cryptos is actually CZ of Binance and you guys can see the amount of uh, BNB coin burnt and it's just insane so the 20th burn 444 million USD worth right there and that's one way to uh, fight away the crypto winter the crypto frost and uh, you know CZ is uh, basically burning away the money right there. So any crypto that can formulate a burn, burn up the supply, that is good to see in the crypto market. And that's bullish for your crypto. So the more cryptos that do burns, the better it is. The reduction supply It's deflationary, unlike this M1 money supply, which is inflationary. So it's going up right now. On top of that, let's do a quick update on the Luna burner numbers. So I did do an update before on the channel, but quickly to recap you guys, where are we up to? We need a blockchain implementation of the burn first so we know cz of binance we just spoke about it he is bullish about burns in the cryptocurrency market he loves burns he wants to see the luna classic development team put that on the chain first once that is on chain then he is going to consider a 1.2 percent burn and he loves his burn so all that needs to happen right now is we need to see the luna classic team put that 1.2 percent burn asap onto the crypto and then after that we are going to get considered by binance for a 1.2 percent burn 
burn of their volume on the centralized exchange. And that's going to be massive. So if that gets pulled off, watch out for Luna Classic. That is going to be very, very interesting. And not many cryptos out there actually get the eye of CZ. So this guy is worth, what, $10 billion, lots of money. And uh, very rarely does he actually respond to individual cryptocurrencies. Often to the time, he just doesn't have the time, doesn't catch their attention. But Luna Classic community, it is catching the attention of CZ. We are going to stay on top of that in the future. And guys, if we do take a look at the crypto prices today, what are they doing? We had an inflation report come out yesterday. It was 9.1%. The crypto market has actually held up pretty well. And uh, if we have a look at the prices right now, you guys can see most of the cryptos are actually in the green today. So Uniswap is up, AR is up, AVAX is up. A lot of the cryptos are going back up in price. Bitcoin sitting around the $20,000 level. The other cryptos actually up a bit in the last 24 hours. So a little bit of green in the market, which is great to see. Uh, if they can maintain this price level, I'd be happy with that in the immediate term. If it drops down, I'm not too worried either. I am in crypto for the long run. And if we do actually take a look at the Bitcoin price right now, you guys can see right now, it is sitting very steady within the 20K range. So we are seeing a little bit of uh, you know snake-like volatility, but it is kind of centering around that 20K level. So I do feel it is actually good. It is uh, holding up at this 20K level. I think the panic sets in in crypto when Bitcoin starts to drop below you know 18, 17K. There was lots of predictions for you know 10K sub Bitcoin. It's good that hasn't happened yet. I think there is still a massive difference between this crypto dip and the 2018, 2017 one because you have to remember right now you know these price levels in my opinion they are supported by a lot more investment in crypto so the crypto market is way bigger right now there's more people in there there's more institutions in there there's more big money right now and i think people understand you can make money in the crypto market and i do not think it is going away for a long period of time the only thing that we have to kind of watch out for right now so if you want your crypto prices to go up your bitcoin price to go up your old coins to go up we need to see some good macro drivers okay so i do speak about this a bit on the channel macro drivers are like bullish signals out of the broader economy so the u.s economy needs to get strong you need some good politicians leading the u.s economy we need to see inflation decrease we need to see you know peace uh you know between nations as well get the supply chains on, on chart so right now you are seeing some macro drivers that are unsettling the markets i think once the markets do get settled the crypto prices they will be bullish in the future i'm a believer they will be bullish in the future and just like the good times in the crypto market you know they don't always last forever neither will the bad times either so the crypto frost i believe that one day will melt away just like cz of binance is burning away that bnb coin the good times will return in the future and uh, that is what we're holding out for and uh, as always you know what do i personally do in the market i dollar cost average in to different cryptos i like i do hold a diversified portfolio and i am a diversified into crypto and also outside of crypto as well so i do mitigate my risk around that's personally what i do but you guys are free to do whatever you want so as always not financial advice but what, what do we want to see we want to see the crypto prices go up on this channel so if you guys like these updates make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell thank you guys for watching the video and i'll see you guys in the next one crypto zeus signing out